guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. It's day 13, I think today. So update from my last vlog, or if you didn't see my last vlog, I got sick yesterday. So um, I got a really, really good night's sleep last night. I slept a lot. I woke up sweaty, so I think I do have like a little fever, but I took my temperature yesterday and I didn't get higher than 99, which really isn't like that high of a fever. So I'll take it again today, but I don't feel, I don't feel like super fevery, but I do feel like I've been going kind of like on and off while I was sleeping. Other than that today, I don't really, so far I don't feel worse than yesterday. So I'm hoping that maybe I caught my sickness early enough to try and kick it, you know what I mean? Like for the most part. So hopefully I'll be a little bit like, I feel like I already am like better energy in the vlog. <laughs> yesterday just took me down like I was saying with getting sick and being on my period and it was Monday and I was just like no like no I do not accept this for myself you know what I mean um anyway I am about to finish editing and upload my vlog I only have like yesterday's footage to edit so hopefully it won't take me too long today I want to get some um presents packed up all my parents stuff is here so I want to pack up their stuff um and get my sisters and finley's maybe out today or tomorrow too because it's the 13th which i mean there is definitely still like more than 10 days until christmas but i definitely want to get like the things i have to send for gifts sent out soon and just like not worry about it anymore it's like okay it's in the hands of usps or whoever so um i think we'll do a little more like wrapping and packaging later on today um, I've signed up for cycling with Kim. I signed up like on Sunday before I was sick. I'm probably gonna cancel it because I don't, you know, I don't think I should go work out when I'm still feeling a little sick. Um, maybe I can still go to my class tomorrow. I'm just gonna like monitor how I'm feeling. Um, all right, this was kind of like a boring intro, just an update. So that's the update. Let's get the vlog up and then take on the rest of this Tuesday. All right, guys, I finished up exporting my vlog and I'm doing the thumbnail and everything right now. And I'm finally eating. I'm starved, but I kind of have been neglecting eating breakfast until I get my vlog up. I know it's bad, but Jared made me a beautiful bagel breakfast sandwich with egg, tomato, and bacon. Mmm. I'm not having any like cheese or dairy when I'm thick and mucousy because it makes it so much worse for me so this is my gorgeous breakfast today and we're almost done getting the vlog up and we can hang out with squirtle he's getting a little he's trying to go to the park today dressed for the day i'm wearing this cute color block sweater that megan loaned me in our little um clothing swap we did a few weeks ago it's very warm and i love the colors and then i'm just wearing some flared pants from airy these are one of my faves they're so comfy they're like a high-waisted flared pants they're a little wet because i walked squirtle and they're still like wet from the snow but um, I am about to go around a couple quick errands. I'm gonna go to the post office. Um, I'm setting out a Depop order and dropping off my brother's gift because we couldn't drop it off the other day. What else? I'm gonna go by the UPS store to pick something up really quick before they close in a bit. And I'm going to go get a bottle of something shocking. Um, whiskey slash bourbon to make hot toddies. I don't have any because I am not a dark liquor girl. Like I don't think I have a single dark liquor in my cabinet i have like everything else for liquor pretty much besides like bourbon whiskey you know those ones um i'm gonna get some to make hot toddies 
to hopefully help my throat and my lungs and also I just kind of want to have like a little bottle of it on hand to have some hot toddies this holiday season but I am feeling a good amount better which I'm so excited about like I don't feel like I don't want to jinx anything but I don't feel like my throat is like getting worse I feel like it's getting better I think tomorrow will be like good to go get back into just like working out and normal life things that require normal amounts of energy so I'm really feeling good about that definitely a different mood than yesterday I was super low yesterday I was super just like upset okay I'm gonna go around these errands and then me and Jared are gonna go pick up a couple of um final gifts we are on like the last few people of um gifts we need to pick up and I should be ready to send all my stuff out in the next few days like I was telling you guys earlier I'm just waiting on some photo prints I forgot about that I can't send my parents gift out until I get our photo prints in the mail tomorrow because I don't know if I just showed you guys let me show you actually I don't have time to show you now but the ones I picked up from Walgreens the quality especially of the 8x10s which you know are a little bigger was pretty bad like it was really really grainy and they just looked bad so i think maybe like the quality because we i used like really high quality photos that fiona took of us at our photo shoot and i think the quality didn't really like transfer by uploading them to the walgreens like website i think it was just kind of something was wrong so i ordered prints directly from fiona's like photography website that she uses so i assume the quality would be a lot better there they were more expensive too so those are coming in tomorrow so i'll show you guys them um and then i can finally send out um my parents gift and frame everything that i've been waiting to frame okay i feel like i'm lollyganging right now so i'm gonna go run these errands and then jared and i will go pick up some last minute gifts um it's been a pretty chill day otherwise squirtle and i just went to the park in the snow I've been listening to the new SZA album. I really like it. I'm, I'm like happy she came out with her album at this time of year. I kind of feel like no one really comes out with albums in like December and I'm just listening to like Christmas music or like my rewind from um, 2022. So it's nice to have like new music that's not Christmassy or like, I don't know. It's just nice to have something new this time of year. So I've been really enjoying it and like deciding which songs are my favorites, but I really do like the album a lot overall so far and I'm like been having such a great time listening to it and getting to know the songs more so thank you SZA for giving us an amazing album and I'm so happy sorry I'm just still talking I'm so happy her album is over an hour long because I know I've like talked about this before but I cannot deal with the fact that it's like trendy now to release an album that's 30 minutes like the amount of albums that have been released that is literally just you'll play it 30 minutes later the whole album is over it's like I can't like I need an hour long or more anyway <laughs> I am going to go out the door now we're going to mixed greens it's a little cute gift shop in downtown look how cute she's all snowflaked out We found a blanket. That was our main reason for coming here. For Jared's stepmom to complete her gift. And we found Squirtle. So cute. Look at this freaking avocado with Santa hat. I like this stuff. Found these two. And the Kong balls for his stocking. Which is good because we needed to grab him some stuff for his stocking anyway. So this will be cute. Hello all and welcome back to another Cooking with Jared and Lindsay. Show full face. Let's cook. We are making stuffed peppers tonight. We got the ingredients yesterday to try and make these last night and I was just not feeling it. I was absolutely not feeling up to it. But tonight I'm feeling a lot better and a lot more energy to cook. So I'll link the recipe in the description box. There's like tons of similar recipes. So these are pretty easy to make. They just take a little bit to bake. Like you have to bake them for, I think it's almost an hour. Yeah. So we're going to try to like power through and make the mix. Jerry's already cooking the rice, which is good. And he's about to start on the meat. I'm going to get out the bell peppers and start like cutting them and shaping them because the red ones are really tall. 
and I don't want that, so I'm gonna have to cut them a little bit, unfortunately. We can save it for another recipe, but that's what I'm gonna do first. Like, no, this is not gonna work. This is fucked. All the red peppers looked like this yesterday. I was pissed. I was like, mm, not gonna go to another store, so. All right, I'm adding in a little voice over here because I know sometimes when I like just play music when I'm cooking, you guys said you prefer if I talk through it. So I'm seeding and like coring the bell peppers and kind of just like grabbing that thing out of there. And then I'm going in with a knife and kind of just like cleaning up the sides and making sure, I mean, you don't have, they don't have to all be the same size. I cut the red ones down like a little bit lower because I don't want them to be, I mean, this freaking tall and weirdly shaped. And I think there's still enough room. I tried to make it a little taller, so there's still enough room. This is it compared to like, well, this one I cut really badly. It's totally, that looks really bad actually, but it's fine. It's good. This one's better, more of like an even cut. So as long as you got, you know, a little bit of room for like half a cup or more of filling and you can kind of, like overfill them a little bit too, so. Now I'm still chopping the peppers and since the red ones were a lot bigger, I'm actually saving some, of, well, I'm saving pretty much like all of those for another recipe, but also this recipe puts like, you use the peppers as the shell, right? And then you also use bell peppers in the mix that we're gonna make saving some of those to chop up for that. And then I just put them all in a little baking pan. And now I'm chopping up some garlic. I think the recipe called for like three or four cloves. And now on to Roma tomatoes. I was asking Jared, like, I don't know why I feel like I don't know actually like the proper way. Like I can dice a tomato, but I've never thought about like, is this the right way to do it? So I asked him how he does it. <laughs> We're gonna chop all those up. Kind of took me a little bit, <laughs> I won't lie. Jared was working on like the meat and I think like onion in the background while I was doing this. And then I put the garlic in the pan that I chopped up while I finished the tomatoes. Sorry, I'm a little low energy in this. I'm, I'm a little bit hungover from last night, which you guys will see in this vlog. So now I'm putting the tomatoes in and Jared's just mixing those in. So in there is like the meat, the garlic, the onion. I don't think anything else yet. He just put some seasonings. We didn't use much. And then the beef is going in and the rice. I will say, following this recipe, something weird happened and we usually always have more rice and not as much beef. It was way, I just don't think we made enough rice. It was super beef heavy this time, which I didn't like as much. I'm gonna say, I wish we used half the package of beef and a lot more rice. And we usually use corn and we forgot that. So I'm not gonna lie, these were not my favorite stuffed bell peppers, but I do still like this recipe. We kind of messed up a little. So they are all stuffed, a little bit overstuffed. And they're gonna be with foil for 30 minutes and then we'll uncover it and put a little cheese but bake for an additional 15-ish. 350. Oh, these are heavy as hell. Sorry for the kind of bad angle, but they came out after 30 minutes and now I'm uncovering them and I'm gonna put some cheese off, off, <laughs> on the top of all of them. Do not skip this step. It makes them look so much prettier. All right, they should look like this. And now they're going back in for like 15 minutes. Then we'll check them. It says 15 to 20. So I'm probably gonna check them at like 15. All right, here they are. Usually we like, I would get the cheese a little more brown to kind of like this level, 
but we're really hungry and it's already 9 10 so i put them back in 20 minutes to get the cheese like this much and now we're just gonna serve them up jared wanted to do the red and green for christmas but you can use any color bell pepper it doesn't really matter it's official well hopefully <laughs> this package to megan and finley of gifts is going out it ended up being a little bit more uh thick <laughs> with things than i thought Megan, actually, turn this off now, because once I zoom up, you might see a gift that was not able to be wrapped. So, I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek, but please exit off now. If you are Maurice, I don't want any peeking. Okay, if you guys can see it, there's something at the bottom here. I don't know why I'm whispering. There's something at the bottom here. I guess you can't really see, like, what it is. You can probably tell. But you'll see it when Megan opens it. But that was just like the shape of it. It was not able to be wrapped. So she's just going to get like a little surprise when she opens this giant box that I'm really thankful I got that package from the body shop because this box is freaking huge. Like look at it compared to my hand. Okay. It's very, very large. I'm hoping it's going to be strong enough for all these gifts. So we have stuff for Megan and Finley in here. Presents for Finn from J-Rod. couple of those. We have from Earl to Petunia. We have one for Maurice de Freak from Mort. Another from Mor to Mort from King Julian. One from Megan to, I mean, one to Megan from Lindsay, the only normal one. And one to Mr. Finn from Lucinda Limon. I think that's it. Oh, there's another one down there to Megan Finn. Love Lindsay. The notes got, a, or the gift tags got a little more deranged as we wrote. So. Now Jared and I are going to try to shove this all in the box um, and then I need to weigh it and figure out how much it's going to cost to send it, but it's getting sent. Tomorrow it will be sent on the 14th, so hoping that will be good. Actually, I know it will be good. It should take about a week to send. Now we are going to try to uh, shove everything. It's really just, okay. I kind of even feel like this could be maneuvered like that. And then this can fit here. Alright, look at that, look at that. Yeah, this is nice. And then this needs to be sh shoved as much over as it possibly. You gotta leave room for the box to close too. Yeah. We can kind of shove it. Yeah, we can kind of. Okay, this is like the main. I feel like this could even lay. I'm getting a little smushed maybe. As long as this. And then. I think we're gonna get it, you guys. It's, it's like, how much do you think this weighs off the bat? Between five and ten. It's not ten. No. Probably like seven or eight. Mm -hmm. No. No, mine came out. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put two because it has this like little fake gift tag. I'm gonna put two the Orstroms from the Freaks. The Freaks in Idaho. The Freaks. Oh my God, this thing's heavy. What do y'all do if you got a Christmas package this big in the mail? You freak out, totally freak out, right? We got it all sealed and. It's gonna be 25 bucks to send, which really isn't, I mean, for something. This weighs 13 pounds. Oh, you guys have been moving the whole time because of Jared. Sorry. Two, mm -hmm. the or strums. That's a longer last name than I thought when I wrote it all out. From, I don't really wanna put Duff Freaks, you know, like on the package. Yeah. Should I put you know who? <laughs> no, that's what we're From Squirrel. Squirrel sent the help. Why can I not decide who we are? What are we? What are we? I don't want to. I guess I could just write Jared and Lindsay. There you go. I I feel like we already wrote like funny stuff on the inside, so yeah. on the outside we can be, you know, like normal people. I guess. 
Give a little wonder and make the world a fair place. That's the little tag I was talking about, you guys. It's like a little, it was on the box already. But I, it hadn't been filled out. Pray for her. Pray for her. Okay. Okay, I am making. Why do I have to do that when I'm vlogging? Why do I have to do that? It literally starts making that noise. When... Yeah. Better stop. Better stop. Alright, I'm making my first hot toddy. So, it's pretty easy. But I'll put the recipe that I'm using. Because, I mean, I'm following recipes. I don't know. I don't know the measurements. I've never done this before. I'll put it on the screen. Um, three quarters of a cup of water that's heating up on the stove right now. One and a half ounces whiskey. I asked Megan what would be better because Kim told me to use bourbon. And then I know Megan, I think, usually does whiskey. And I don't, you know, guys, I don't like the taste. So she said maybe I should get like a honey whiskey. So I got this Smalley of the Jack Daniels Honey Tennessee Whiskey. And you just need lemon juice and then a little round of a lemon like this. Oh, and honey. And optional is cinnamon stick. And I did get some yesterday for another drink recipe I'm gonna be making with you guys um, this weekend, which I'm excited about. Oh, my water, she's already boiling. I'm doing it in a little glass mug so I can see my cute work. Oh, that's really hot, so we're gonna just struggle in her, you know, air out in there. Doesn't really look like that much water, but. Add the whiskey, two teaspoons honey, and two teaspoons lemon juice. Okay. It's better cure me, y'all. One and a half ounces whisker. And a half. Okay. Now, two teaspoons of honey, I'm kind of gonna wing it, cause I hate putting honey in the teaspoon thing and then it's like hard to get it out, you know what I mean? You like waste it, so. Since this is honey already, I probably don't need that much. Two to three teaspoons lemon juice to taste. This I actually will measure just for the heck of it. See how much I have. One teaspoon. This should be about what I need. Two, this will be like three. And a little change, whatever. I'm doing it because I'm sick, so I need the lemon. And I want to mask the taste of my whiskey. Your lemon round. Sorry, I feel like I have the brightness too much up on this, you guys. We just do, we just do this big mama. Cute. Well, this is fun. I like the garnishes. Bottoms up, bottoms up. Just throw your hands up. Tell security about the tits. Bottoms up. Um, Ow! Okay. I mean, I definitely taste the bourbon, but it's not like horrible. I feel like first sip's the hardest, right? But it's it's good. I officially finished all my Christmas cards finally on December thirteenth. I don't think that's too bad. I mean, I feel like ideally I would have had them all out by like the tenth. Just because, I don't know, I feel like I want people to like have them up, or, like have them for at least like a week or two before Christmas, but they'll all get out in the mail tomorrow. I think I'm going to try to go edit in bed um, my footage from today or behind on the advent calendar because I apparently had no energy to do it last night. So it's time for the same chocolates but the most, oh, most delicious chocolates we've been munching on all month day 12 yeah i forgot again to another day but it's fine because then i can give jared a chocolate you guys know the drill oh they're both milk this time down goes the chocolate Bone apple tit. I am gonna go upstairs for the night, eat my chocolate, and edit. Hi guys, I'm starting the vlog on my phone because I freaking left my memory card up in my bedroom and I was editing last night. Flop. But it's flurrying a little. I don't think you can tell really on camera. It's flurrying a little today. So 
kind of excited about that. I don't know, I still get excited about the snow, but I am headed to a Pilates class after a whole week off. I don't even know why I took a whole week off of working out. I'm like, what was I doing before I was sick that I couldn't work out? Like, I'm trying to remember. I think I was just sore. Anyway, after a whole week of being off working out, I'm getting back out there. I'm going back to Pilates, baby. All right, I'm driving now, so I will chat with you after Pilates. Okay, I'm at Albertsons. I'm picking up a little bit of candy to send something to my parents and shredded cheese, just a couple of really random things. Okay, my parents like dark chocolate, so I wanna see if I can find, I feel like they have dark chocolate Hershey Kisses. Mm. Maybe I made that up. They have so many different kinds, but I'm like, oh wait, milk chocolate, milk chocolate. Guys, I swear, am I going crazy right now? I really thought they had dark chocolate kisses. It's not the end of the world if they don't, but these they have literally almond kisses, but not, and sugar cookie kisses, but apparently not dark chocolate kisses. I'm shook. I really thought they had those. Maybe my store just doesn't have them. I guess we're going with the classic milk, which is fine. I'm also gonna get them one of these like cookie tins. I used to have one, but I think I sent it to somebody because <laughs> I don't have it anymore. Um, but these are just like endlessly reusable. They're on sale, maybe I'll get two. No, I'll probably just get one. Probably one of these to send their little treats in. And look, I found a cute, cute, actually they have a lot of Squishmallows here. Like this Mickey Mouse one. There's a few over there. And this one is so cute. Look at her. I can't get any more squishes, but love her work. Hello. Back on my camera. Sorry about that. That was kind of annoying. I don't like filming on my phone unless it's like, boys getting hydrated. Unless it's like I have to, you know, cause I like don't bring my camera somewhere, but we're back. Um, well, I just heard some weird noise from outside. I thought it was Alexa for a second. Um, anyway, I'm gonna do a little mini haul of what I got at Albertsons and what else? I got my pictures in the mail today. They are so much better quality. They look, they just look like really nice prints and I, I'm so happy I, I decided to like splurge a little bit and get those instead of the Walgreens ones. I'm gonna try to return the ones I got from Walgreens because I'm pretty sure if you're not happy for any reason, they'll take them back or like redo them. So I'll show you guys the prints. Hopefully they like look good on camera. Um, what else is going on? I went to Pilates. Um, I went to drop off all those packages and got everything out. And also tonight, I'm so excited. I'm going to a concert and literally this is like such a legendary, but random, but legendary show tonight. So Snoop Dogg is coming and T-Pain, and there's like three other people, the Ying Yang twins, which I know, I'm almost positive they sing Get Low with Lil Jon, I think, like if I hear that song, oh my God. Um, Warren G, who I didn't think I knew, but then I was playing him in the car to be like, do I know any of his songs? And I actually know like several of them. He does that song, what's love got to do, got to do with it? So I was like, oh, fuck, okay. And then this guy, Justin Champagne, who I don't believe I've ever heard of, but who knows, maybe I know some of his songs too. So that is happening tonight. I'm going to that in a few hours. I am most excited to see T-Pain. Like, oh my God, T-Pain, please play your 2008 hits. Please play your old music. I feel like he definitely will because he knows like that's his most popular music and that's what everyone wants to hear. I know T-Pain actually has a good voice though. So like, I'm definitely down to hear him actually like sing and play newer stuff. But I just hope he plays, you know. His old bops, bartender, buy you a drink, can't believe it. That's one of my favorites. I'ma put you in a log cabin somewhere it has been. Like that is my favorite T-Pain song, I Will Die. I will die. I feel like he has to play it because it's December and it's like, that's the first lyric of the song. Like it's a witchery song, right? I don't know. Oh my God, it's blizzarding outside. <laughs> been really snowy and cold this week. That's happening later. I'm honestly about to like shower and just start getting ready for that after I show you guys this little haul because I just don't want to be rushing later and I know myself and I will be. So I'm just going to shower and like do my hair and my makeup and figure out what I'm wearing early. I got, I spent way too much money on these flowers. Albertson's flowers are so expensive. 
especially if you get like all separate ones but I just did it because I really wanted like a pretty bouquet and I saw these like wooden berries and I thought they were so freaking pretty so I thought that these were like five bucks but they were ten dollars just for these so tragic <laughs> hopefully they last through Christmas since they're like that I don't know I just hope they last since they're not like actual flowers then I got some carnations, which were, I think, $6. I know, guys, I really overspent on this bouquet. Normally, I like to spend, like, $10 max on my flowers. I probably should have gone to Trader Joe's. And then I got these. I don't even know what it is. It's just a little greenery, but I thought these together would be so pretty, so I'll put this together in a couple hours. These were only 5 $5 for this. That's what I'm saying. Like, Albertsons is so expensive. I literally rang up my flowers, and my total was already $22. I was like... No fucking way, but I had already rang it up and I was like, I want the flowers, so. I know, that's like severely overpaying, but hopefully they'll look pretty. Um, I did get a couple little gift wrap things. These were like less than $2 for 100 gift tags and we just ran out. So, I got more of those and a few bows for some presents. And then I got that tin for my parents snowman because my mom loves snowmans so i will probably make these um unless i have extra time this afternoon these don't really take long at all they're I've, I've made these in vlogmas before you literally take a snap pretzel okay you put a hershey kiss on it wait where are those you put a hershey kiss on it you bake it for like it's not a long time at all like two or four minutes i think it's like four minutes until the hershey kiss is like melted a little bit and then you press an M&M into the center. And it's so simple, but they're so good. And I sent some to my parents like two years ago and they loved them. So I want to send them some more. And lastly, I got shredded cheese because <laughs> we ran out of that. We used a lot of cheese last night for the peppers and we're always using that. So that's my haul. Let me show you guys the prints really quick. I'll get more up close so you can like see them see them or, like doing a little bit of a glare because the light above so sorry about that if i hold it like this it doesn't do as much of a glare but it's still kind of doing it you probably won't be able to tell on camera like at all the difference in the quality but this was the walgreens one and it was just like looking up close it's just really grainy and like looks bad this was actually the best one which is why i framed it the other ones i was like these cannot even go in frames. Like they were bad, really grainy. So this is the new one. Looks more glossy, just like fresh, great, a lot better than these four are, oh my gosh, I'll have to show you them two by two. These four are the ones that I got frames for that we can put all in like a little gallery wall. This one of me and Squirtle. I haven't really shared this one yet too much. I did put it on our Christmas card. And then this one, um, we ordered two of these. I'm gonna give one of these to my parents. Black and white one is for Jared's mom. I already framed it, that was the before and this is the after, I'm sorry. It's really not gonna pick up on camera, just trust me you guys, they were like so much better. We're gonna do this one for Jared's dad and stepmom. This one, I think I was also sending to my parents or keeping for us or something. I'm gonna give my parents two sizes and they can decide because the frame, they could either do a bigger one or a smaller one with like a white box around it. You know what I'm saying? Like a shadow. And then this one, we have a frame for in our bedroom. I'm going to replace another picture of us. So, so cute. Our little family. I love these photos so much. This is probably my favorite one from the whole shoot. I just like am obsessed with the colors. I don't know. This one was kind of good too. Anyway, so glad these came in. Must protect these at all costs. But to be honest with y'all right now, I'm stinky. I could smell myself a little bit during Pilates. I was like, girl, I know you're sweating, but you're a little stinky. You went on put on deodorant. I need to go take a shower, okay? <laughs> All right guys, I'm feeling good, except I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna go downstairs and eat some food. I was just listening to this playlist, Holidays of Blaze 2022, that somebody made on Spotify. And I always look for something like this before a concert, if I don't make my own playlist of like all the artists. 
So I've been bumping this, <laughs> it's been amazing and I'm getting really excited for tonight. But I just did a tan and it is still like kind of wet. So I just put on a robe usually while I'm drying and I'm gonna go downstairs, have a leftover pepper cause I'm starving. And then I'm gonna start doing my hair and makeup. Feeling good. So excited actually to see Snape Dog tonight. My gosh, I have high hopes for him. I really do. violently when they're drying their hair. <laughs> like I always have to like strip after I <sighs> after I dry my hair because it makes my whole body so warm. Hair done. I might, I mean I'll probably do something with my hair. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet but I think I'm going to do makeup next. Decide what I'm wearing and then we'll kind of finish off the hair. Alright guys, I just finished my makeup other than I never do my lips until like right before I got the door because just like having drinks or like probably gonna brush my teeth before I head out. So this is, I honestly do the same thing that I always do. I have not switched up my makeup routine in a while. There's always this weird part of my makeup on this eye. I don't know, whatever, it's fine you guys. I'm gonna be in a dark concert arena, so this is what she is and she's cute. Um, okay, so it's 5.38, I have until probably like 6.20. So I just have to pick my outfit and figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. I don't think I wanna wear it just straight. I want at least wanna put like some clips or, I can't decide if I want to like wave it. I might just wear it like this, but like put like, I don't know, like a little braid or pig to, I don't know. I can't decide like what would be cute. At first I kind of forgot about this, but I literally have a Snoop Dogg shirt. So I obviously have to wear this. This shirt is so iconic. I think it's so funny. It's just like Snoop Dogg chilling and a gigantic fur coat with two Rottweilers. I think they're Rottweilers, I hope I'm right. Um, it is incredibly iconic and like I haven't worn this in a while and I just feel like maybe I'll get some compliments. Like I feel like I have to wear it, right? First I was thinking like maybe I should go crazy with like my outerwear and do like a fun jacket. I haven't worn this cow jacket in so long. I've had this for years, but I don't know. I feel like I'm all not that I'm over cow by any means, but I just was like, meh. Like I'll take off the jacket once we get to our seats anyway, cause I'm gonna get warm. I was thinking the t-shirt would be a better idea cause I know I'm gonna get hot dancing. So I think just this, but I was like, how do I make it cute? Like it's kind of oversized. I think it's like a large or an extra large. So I don't know, I'm gonna try it over these jeans, which are kind of fun. They're like these patchwork jeans. I really didn't know what bottom would look good with this besides just jeans. Cause like, I don't wanna do black cause the shirt's already black. I don't wanna do white. So, and I don't wanna do like a skirt. That'll be like weird with this. So I'm thinking it'll look good with these. And okay guys, I'm happy with my look. Pretty happy with how it came together quickly for hair. I know I blew it all out, but with the jewelry I ended up putting on, I was like, I want this to be like a statement. You know, since my, the rest of my outfit's like pretty plain, just jeans and a t-shirt, I was like, I want the jewelry to be a statement. So I did like all gold. Um, and then I did my hair in these little, very tiny baby like buns. But I feel like it really shows off the jewelry. <laughs> Excuse the disaster behind me. This room has like been through a lot. Um, so these are the jeans. They're like a little baggy. I think these are from Hargan Denim. I'm almost positive. They're super cool. I haven't worn them in a while. They're these like custom, just like patchy jeans. Usually I wear them rolled up, but I feel like it's been so hard for me to get into that style of like looser, like boyfriend style jeans. So I just did it with the white tennis shoes tonight, like how I feel like this is how like Gen Z wears their 
I don't know you guys, I'm going to the concert with a bunch of 18 to 20 year olds, so I'm trying to embrace my Gen Z tonight, okay? Jared wouldn't come with me, none of my friends would come with me, okay? Um, and then of course we have the Snoop Dogg tee, it looked so tragic, just like this. I thought it was gonna be cute, but like, it did not work, so I had to tie it in the back, because I didn't have time to like crop it, you know what I mean? So I just did this, and whatever, I'm wearing my Snoop Dogg tee, I feel... I feel pretty cute. I mean, I don't know. It could be like a cuter outfit, but at least I'm like, you know, what's the word? Like in theme. And then I thought this went kind of cute because the letters on my T are gold. So, and I don't want to have a huge jacket, even though it's going to be cold out, just because like we're going to be inside. So, this is the jacket. But anyway, I do have to go. I'm just going to film like little clips of the show. I'm probably not going to film too much, like I said, because I know it doesn't like really transfer but I'm so freaking excited to see T-Pain and Snoop Dogg and just okay I feel like it's gonna be a really fun night so I'll talk to you guys probably before bed when I get home but I am like happy with how my look came together I feel like my makeup's on fleek and my hair and my jewelry looks kind of cute so I'm happy with it I'm about to finish off editing this vlog. I didn't get an early start yesterday. I know. I know what I said, but I couldn't really edit last night because I was at the concert and I spent like literally since 3 p.m. getting ready for the concert. That's the only thing I feel like about a concert is like, because it usually starts at like 7. You have to like you know, eat dinner and pregame, so, and drive there, right? You know, if you want to get ready, you kind of have to start getting ready, like, mid-afternoon. So, it kind of takes, like, the whole day. <laughs> but I had such a great time. I'm seriously so glad that I got to go. I'm really thankful to Jared's sister and her friends, because I got to hang out with them more and that they wanted to go with me, because seriously, like, I was really sad for a minute that I wasn't going to get to go. Like, I was emotional, honestly. Um, I got to get my tea pain set. Snoop Dogg was really great too. I have seen him before though, so like, I don't know. I feel like a Snoop Dogg set, like, I wish he played more. It definitely was good, but I did enjoy T Pain a little bit more, probably because I've just like never seen T Pain, and literally every one of his songs is a bop. A bop. I was kind of sad if I want to say banger or bop, so I kind of said both. Anyway, I am like a little bit a little bit hungover i don't actually feel that bad i just feel like i need to kind of like eat and rest for a couple hours and i will i will be back i just feel a little like low energy you know what a great like surprise little concert to come here honestly i'm so surprised that t-pain gave to idaho honestly like so happy though okay, i am going to finish up this vlog and get it up for you guys so i hope you enjoyed if you liked this vlog please like it down below leave me a comment i would love to chat with you in the comments and more vlogmas is coming your way don't fret don't worry <laughs> all right guys i will see you in the next vlog love you so much Thank you for watching Vlogmas. I truly appreciate you. Oh, also, if you couldn't tell, I forgot to say this yesterday. I started feeling a lot better yesterday, so thank God. I'm just like mucusy in the mornings, but that's like pretty much every day anyway. So I seriously like think I kicked. I don't. So, so yeah, I think I just freaked myself out and I didn't like actually get sick because I think I took my Zycam and stuff early on enough two hours into my sore throat anyway so that's a sickness update we're doing good yesterday I was doing good I got back into normal life yesterday and okay bye guys love you